Okay, so this question says, find the area below y equals negative cos x and above the x-axis on the interval negative pi to pi. Uh, well, I guess it would help, first of all, to have a bit of an idea of what it is we're looking at here. Now, negative cosine is going to start down here because it's just going to be the, okay, the reflection of regular cosine. So it's going to hit its it's uh, zero here at negative pi over two, positive pi over two. It's going to hit its maximum here at pi, and then back here at negative pi. So the interval that I'm I'm looking at here is from negative pi to pi, but I'm only interested in the part of the the graph that's above uh, the x-axis. So I'm only looking for that area and that area right there. Now, which which really means that what I can do here. Is, is just figure out the area from maybe pi over 2 to pi and multiply that by 2 because there's going to be some symmetry here. So I know that the derivative of my area function is going to be negative cosine of x. Okay, and so my, deriv so my area function is going to be uh, the negative sine of x plus c because that will be the antiderivative of, of negative cosine. And you can just check that by, by taking the derivative of our answer here. Now we're going to evaluate that. And actually, to figure out the area, the total area that I'm looking for, I'm going to take 2 times the area function evaluated between pi over 2 and pi. Okay? And so that is going to look like this. It's going to be 2 times, okay, uh, what is it? Negative sine of x plus c evaluated from pi over 2 to pi. And we know that's going to look like this. That's going to be 2 times uh, negative sine of pi plus c minus, and then I have to distribute that through. So it's going to be the second value here, negative sine of pi over 2 plus c. Uh, what do we got here? Well, sine of pi is going to be 0. I know that my c's are going to cancel because I'm using that same function, and so it's going to be the same value of c. Uh, sine of pi over 2 is going to be 1, and because of those two negatives, it's going to be a positive one. So basically, this just becomes 2 units squared.